the darkness, from the forest, we have come with words of, to bring you greetings from the chief. He bids you henceforth keep the strictest silence. Many moons ago, in the dim ages, uh, the chieftain summoned a council to see what he could do to make his tribe the best of all tribes. After much meditation, he called upon the most trusted braves of his nation. He said to the first, Brother, go climb the highest mountain that touches the heavens. Then tell the great eagle to fly high into the sky bring back part of the beauty of the sun. It shall be done. Oh, no. He said to the other, Brother, venture into the great forest. Find Sparrow and tell him to fly high into the sky and bring back the beauty which is the sky. It shall be done.
Such a young one is not strong enough to join the bear den, <coughs> said many others. No matter how hard Akela worked, all ways were barred to him. But the old chieftain of the tribe saw Akela different from the rest. The spirit of this young one burns brighter than the largest fires. There will come a time when the tribe will require that which only he can give. One night, in the fall, during the harvest, a party of warriors was returning to their village by a canoe after a hunt. On this night, the fog rolled thick across the rivers. The fog was so heavy, the river branch back to the village was hidden from view. A nearby branch of the river led down to a roaring waterfall. The warriors were about to miss the safe path and be trapped by the water rushing to the falls. Caleb was practicing his hunting skills in the hills above the river. My brothers in the canoe are in danger. I will wrap an arrow with a piece of deer skin instead of flame and shoot it into the sky above the safe river path. The warriors in the canoe saw the flaming arrow through the fog and followed it to their village. The warriors went to the chief and <coughs> saying, We were trapped on the river and the High Father sent an arrow of light through the sky to guide us. The chief smiled and said, The sign which led you to safety came not from the heavens, but from one who you thought was too young to do anything. He brought Akela forward to surprise the warriors. Akela has proven himself worthy to wear the name of warrior. He has aided his brothers in their time of greatest need. Therefore, hereafter, from all tribes, warriors will become warriors after meeting the challenges of the arrow of life. Let them each be filled with the spirit of a Akelos and follow his example of service to their brethren. And it was made so and carried through to the present day as you Weeblers stand before us now, ready to receive the arrow of light. The candles we will light represent the rays in the arrow of light. As they are lighted, you will hear how they see stand for seven great virtues of life, as directed by my brothers and I. Come forward, take a candle, and use it to transfer the flame from the light of scouting already burning to an illumination of the arrow of life. The first virtue is wisdom. Wisdom does not necessarily mean superior knowledge. It means putting the right use to the knowledge that one possesses. The second virtue is courage. Well, courage is not the quality that enables men to meet the danger they face. It is being able to face danger in spite of your fear. The third virtue is self-control. Self-control isn't limited to the control of one's temper, but the control of oneself in all things, eating, playing, and even working and talking. The fourth virtue is justice. Justice is the practice of dealing fairly with others without regard to race, color, or creed. The fifth virtue is faith. Faith is the conviction that something unseen is proven without evidence is true. One eight-year-old Cub Scout said that faith was when you flipped on the light switch, you believed light would come on. The sixth virtue is hope. 
Hope means to expect with confidence. Always hope for better things to come. A man without hope is of little good to himself or his community. Seventh virtue is love. There are many kinds of love. Love of country, love of God, love of fellow men. All these loves are necessary for a full life. <coughs> you will find that if you live by the seven great virtues, you will become a happy man. And a happy man is a successful man. The arrow, the arrow of light bass, the only Cub Scout award that can be worn on the Boy Scout uniform. It serves as a link between our two programs and points the way towards the new adventure that we have in the Boy Scout. Congratulations. This concludes our ceremony.